Well, I finally bought a load tester. I guess the uh, brand really doesn't matter. But anyway, so I'm going to show you how to test batteries, starters, and alternators. So let's get going. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to test some batteries. So let's, that's the easiest part. I mean, that's really why I got this thing. So it's pretty straightforward, you know, negative to negative, positive to positive. That'll give you a voltage reading. Now it turns out it needs to be a minimum of uh, 9.6 or 7. Next thing you need to know is what the cold cranking amps are, you know, and this range is going to go from uh, 200 to 1000. So that's the range on this meter here. And we're going to flip this switch and put a load on it. And there's the, uh, a heat sink in here because uh, the load generates a lot of heat. And uh, it gets extremely hot uh, if you leave it more than 10 seconds. So we're not going to do that. However, in this case, as soon as I hit it, it goes to weak. So it doesn't matter what the cold cranking amps are, this battery is on its last legs. All right, now our next battery is rated at 800 cold cranking amps. And we see we have a voltage of 12.2. And when we hit the button, it doesn't matter what the cold cranking amps are because it is bad, bad battery. All right, I hope the wind's not too bad. So on this example, we have a 600 cold cranking amps hit the button and crap man it is like way above 600 so but we need to note the voltage the load voltage is 11.2 uh, that's important this 11.2 scale means that when we turn the engine over it needs to uh, not drop below 10.2 if it drops below 10.2 that means the starter is pulling too many amps and uh, it's going to show it in volts even though the starter is pulling too many amps hopefully that made sense and that's how you know whether you have a good starter or not now for the alternator test you start the engine let it run it should come up above 13 and a half uh, to 14.1 or two all right let's try the alternator test <laughs> we're good all right now for the starter test that's a little bit tricky most modern vehicles don't have a distributor cap and you can't just pull the wire off the coil and disable the vehicle on modern vehicles it's best to pull the fuse to the uh, fuel pump and that'll keep it from starting but in this case I can uh, keep the spark plugs from sparking so let's crank it up and see where it's at We're definitely good there. All right, there you have it, battery tester. And besides the different brands, what makes them different is the uh, rating. Like this is 100 amps for 12 volts and 50 amps for 6 volts. All right, also the scale for the cold cranking amps could vary from one to the other. There, uh, you might not be able to go up to 1,000 if you need it. I would say at least go to 800 for most cars. And it allows you to check the battery voltage, cold cranking amps, uh, charging system, and starter. Now, what I just showed you in the video, most auto parts stores will do that for free. Just go to your AutoZone, O'Reilly, Advanced Store, wherever you're at, whatever you have, and more than likely they'll bring one of these guys out and check your system for free.